Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Doc at Padama and this time we are going to answer questions from our social media account. Specifically from our TikTok account. So if you have not yet followed, my TikTok account is under the name Doc Ed Padama. And we have short videos that can also help you in your research writing. So the first question, the first and the second question is both similar and different in the following way. So in the first question, you have the following. Sir, paano po ang pag FGD, focus group discussion ang gagamitin sa research Paano po yung presentation of data niya? So, how do you present data using FGD? That's the first question. On the second question is also referring to the presentation of data but in uh, using the interview approach. So, this one asks question regarding presentation of data if the data gathering approach is interview while on the other question is FGD. Now, the title of our discussion for today is how to present data gathered from interview or FGD. So, we have to establish the difference between interview or FGD before we proceed with the answer for these questions. So, interview by definition involves the asking of individuals, people, respondents, questions about a specific topic. And then, on the other hand, focus group discussion or FGD are specific forms of group interview where you have uh, more respondents compared to interview and where interaction is required and encouraged within the group. Okay? So, again, the form of data gathering for, the bo uh, for both approaches are the same. You ask questions and you solicit and wait for the narrative responses of your respondents. The narrative response of your respondents. Okay. Now, the response from both interview, interview and FGD will be in the form of narrative. Narrative form. So, it is raw. Okay. And you will not be able to understand and evaluate these responses if you do not organize them. So, this requires organization before it can be analyzed. Organize before analyze. Before you can analyze. Okay. Part of this analysis that is required for you to be able to organize your data taken from interview or FGD will be coding. So, coding is defined as an analytical process in which data, gathered data, both quantitative form or qualitative form are categorized. So again, coding is already a form of organizing data gathered from interview or FGD. They are categorized to facilitate analysis. One purpose of coding is to transform the data gathered into a suitable form for analysis. So I am going to present to you a matrix that you can use uh, using the following headings for each column for you to be able to organize <coughs> and prepare your data for analysis. This is again using coding or the coding process for analyzing the responses for the different approaches, interview and FGD in gathering data. So this is the matrix. <coughs> So, you have the following columns. You have ID, transcript, theme, notes, and code. So, we are going to go through them one by one. ID refers to the respondents. So, ID as defined here refers to the code given representing the respondents. So, you can just change the label ID. If you want a simpler and direct to the point label, you can replace this with respondents. Okay, and then you can use respondent 1 or R1, R2, R3, and so on and so forth. So again, this is the function of the first column. So in order to protect the identity of the respondents, this is the, the system used in order to uh, hide the, their identity and protect their identity. Now, the transcript <coughs> is the actual raw response of the uh, of the source of the information. Okay, as defined, transcript is the written, printed, type copy, or dictated or recorded material. So, this form 
is based on the response of the uh, source of data. So if this is respondent uh, 87, this is the response given by that particular source. Okay, so this should be in toto or verbatim. So what the respondent uh, gave or uh, uh, the response that they used during the interview should be written here word per word. <clears throat> okay. The next uh, column is theme. Theme refers to the topics or repeating topics, ideas, and patterns of meaning that come up repeatedly. So what were the themes from the transcript that emerged or was repeated from time to time? So uh, as you can see, this is not a complete transcript. And if you are going to analyze and organize your uh, responses from the sources of your data, you have to go through every response and then try to highlight the similar responses, the repeating responses, and put them here on the theme. So that is the function of this particular column. What were the topics, ideas, patterns that came up repeatedly in the transcript of your uh, respondents. Okay, so after this, notes are just uh, sidelines for this particular matrix. So the notes refers to the reminders that will help organize the data and citing the relevance of source to the respondents. So these are sources that was used in the study and these are uh, relevances of the responses to the study that was uh, given. So again, these are just sidelines, notes, that will help strengthen the, the references that was used in the study. Okay, the last one, code, refers to the classification of the identified theme. It is just the grouping of the theme. So if you have different types of themes, you can uh, code them or give them codes where you classify the following theme. So this theme would fall under the FYE program and this theme would also fall under this particular program. So again, the code refers to the grouping of the themes that you are identifying. So. Uh, this means that you will have to have more than one theme in your particular study in order to identify, classify, and organize them. So basically, this is what you need to do in order to organize the, the sources or data that you were able to gather from interview and focus group discussion. Again, the headings, the labels, the titles can be, um, can be changed, can be modified, and can even be um, rearranged. But the, the elements that you see here are basically the elements that you will use and will be useful in organizing your uh, collected data from interview and focus group discussion. I, I have also seen um, matrix or matrices of uh, interview and FGD that only used uh, four, the identity of the respondents, the transcript, the theme, and the code. And there are also matrix that only use three, the identity, the transcript, and the theme. So again, this will depend on how you present your, your gathered data in your study, but all of them would be acceptable just as long as you can establish that they are useful and required in your study. So thank you very much everyone for listening and I hope you were able to get something from this video. Don't forget, click that subscribe button in our YouTube channel and there will be uh, suggested videos that will appear on the side of the screen. And again, Thank you very much. Stay safe, everyone, and see you on our next video. Bye.